I told you I was going to make it strong but not long, so let me go ahead and get to what, I, what I'm here for. I'm here on behalf of Senator Barack Obama and to respectfully ask for your vote on Tuesday in the presidential primary here in Kentucky. Now, I was one of the first elected officials in the state to endorse Senator Obama back in February of 2007, right after he announced that he was running for president. And one of the questions that I get all the time from people is, well, David, why are you supporting Senator Obama? I'm glad you asked me. <laughs> the reason why I'm supporting Senator Obama is this. With about 47 million people every day living below the poverty line and the gap growing between the haves and the have-nots every day, with millions of families, many of them being Kentucky families, uh, having to go to sleep every night in fear of getting sick or getting hurt because they don't have access to health care. With families or men and women who've worked hard, they played by the rules, they saved all their money, they invested in the pension funds, and then when it comes time for them to retire, only to find out that their pension funds, their savings have been blown away by the company that they were working for, and it went into the pockets of some, uh, some corporate fat cats. And with the promise of every child being able to go to a quality school, being returned to them like a check that we would get from the bank sometimes, stamped on it, insufficient funds. We need a president in the Oval Office who understands with every fiber of their being the issues and concerns that we face right here in Christian County and all across, all across Kentucky. And that is what we find in Senator Barack Obama. Whether it was during his childhood as he was growing up uh, as a son of a single mother and with the help of his grandparents, his grandmother worked as a Rosie the Riveter on the bomber assembly line during World War II, or his grandfather who served in Patton's army and fought uh, for freedom in all across the world. Senator Obama learned the values of hard work, similar to what we share here in Kentucky. Or whether it was during his time in, as a, and as a, growing up as an adult, where he first started off as a community organizer in the south side of Chicago, helping steel workers who had lost their jobs because the company had gone away, and helped them to reclaim their quality of life that they had and to find jobs and a way to make ends meet on their table, or working in the legislature in Illinois to be able to uh, expand uh, early childhood education, or to be able to put money back into people's pockets in the form of a tax break or a, or a tax cut uh, in their hands, Senator Obama understands the issues and the concerns that we face right here uh, in Kentucky. Uh, don't worry about that, y'all. I've got a four-year-old at home and uh, <laughs> happens all the time, especially when the pastor's about to get up and start giving the sermon. So. Uh, we deal with it. We deal with it all the time. Blessed are the children. Blessed are the children. But listen, one of the questions, I say all that, and people will tell me all the time, say, David, you know, we get that, appreciate that. But what does a guy from the south side of Chicago understand about something that we face right here in Hopkinsville, or Cerulean, or Pembroke, or Cadiz? And my answer back to them is simply this. It really, when you stop and think about it, it all boils down to, to beans and cornbread. I know we just had dinner, but I'm trying to make somebody else hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. No matter what you call brown beans, whether you call them pinto beans, whether you call them soup beans, uh, whether, you call, whether you like jiffy cornbread, the sweet cornbread, or whether you like Martha White uh, cornmeal to use for your cornbread, whether you call it country cooking or whether you call it soul food, it is all the same. The same issues and concerns that we share here in Kentucky, and, and more particularly here in Christian County, for being able to have uh, access to quality uh, health care, for being able to send our kids to quality schools so they can compete on a global market, for being able to find and create jobs right here in Christian County so that our kids and our grandkids can come back here to live and to enjoy the quality of life and the way of life that we've enjoyed all these years are the same concerns that our friends in Jefferson County have, in Louisville, Kentucky have, or in Fayette County have, or in New York City have, or in Chicago, or LA, 
or Houston, Texas, or Atlanta, Georgia. They're all the same. And that's why Senator Obama will make an outstanding president for each and every one of us. Because he understands with every fiber of his being the struggles that we all face each and every day. Now finally, I'm going to leave you with this. There's been some folks who have said that, well, I don't know how well we'll do as Kentucky Democrats with Senator Obama at the top of the ticket. You know, sometimes it is still uh, Kentucky. There are some folks, not in this room, but elsewhere, who may have problems voting for an African-American man as uh, President of the United States. And my response to those folks uh, is this. First off, when you look at uh, what has happened these past few uh, months, especially the special elections across the country for uh, Congress, look in Louisiana. We won a, 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 Senate, a House seat in Louisiana where they tried to use all the same old Republican smear tactics against us, and we won that seat. You look at Illinois where Dennis Hastert, the former Republican Speaker of the House, served. We won that seat with them using the same old scare, divide and conquer smear tactics to try and win. You look most recently in Mississippi, of all places, Mississippi, all right? We always say in Kentucky, thank God for Mississippi. <laughs> in a lot of different categories, right? But in Mississippi, where they tried everything they could except call Barack Obama a child of God and his, and his Democratic uh, uh, colleague, we won that seat as well. And what I'm saying to you is the same old politics of the past will not work in Mississippi, it won't work in Louisiana, it won't work in Illinois, and it will not work here in Kentucky. And the main reason why it won't work here in Kentucky is part of, because of the pen that I'm wearing right here, this button I'm wearing right here. It says on it, I'm a yellow dog Democrat. All right? I want to know, ask you one question. Are there any yellow dog Democrats still left in Christian County? Are there still any yellow dog Democrats, like the ones we used to have when we had Ned Breathitt here, when we had Wendell Ford here? Are there still any yellow dog Democrats? And if the answer is yes, then I'm not worried about who's at the top of my ticket come the fall. Because I tell you what, if we, if we still have yellow dog Democrats, then that means I don't care if a yellow dog was running at the top of the ticket. We're going to elect that Democrat. We're going to elect the uh, Democrats up and down the line. And we're going to have a better future for here in Kentucky. Thank you so much. You know, I remember those days when David and I went head-to-head -head when I was starting defensive tackle at the University of Kentucky. 